the channel it's been two years since I built this old power hammer and um, the most popular video on my channel I've had a lot of feedback over that time some negative a lot of positive um, what I want to do is do a revised version of the original video which will include testing it on hot steel and then forge welding with it all combined in one shorter video that's a little bit more straight to the point. It's still functioning exactly the same. I haven't done anything with it, you know. I've just used it as I've needed it. Yeah, it's a good little thing. So anyway, here we go. I hope you enjoy it. Let me explain it. And I do hope my two anvils line up better than that drawing. But anyhow, you'll get the idea. So we have the basic C-shaped frame up here. We'll have the, the piston, I guess, the drive shaft attached to two pieces of my railroad track, which will then be, that'll be bolted down to this part and bolted to the ground around here. Um, here is the motor, which I'll have on a pivoting platform. So when you put your foot down on your pedal, it pushes the motor towards that wheel. So I'll have a drive on there, and then that will in turn, turn the tire, the wheel. So as the wheel turns, I'll have another plate here with a, a um, with an offset pivot, which will, when that turns, it's going to push that shaft up and down, which will in turn push that spring, that highlight spring that I've got, which will pivot in the middle. And as that pushes up, it's going to push that down, and it's going to smack my metal like a hammer. So yeah, that's the basic design. So here's my trusty old train track anvil that I started with. Um, I think that's going to make perfect hammers for my power hammer. So we're going to cut it in half down the middle here and that'll form our top and bottom hammer. I've also got this little giant um, saw which, you know what, with a bit of work it might work. But it's very old, it's broken and it's got a good little motor here which works. Right, so I've done a bit of a run around my property and found a lot of the metal that I need to build this and I've just nutted out my sizes where I've got to cut and what I need there's other bits I'm going to need but this will give me my basic frame and um, I've also de changed the design so that main post is going to go up the center I think it's going to be stronger with it pivoting off the middle let's go and cut it up That there is exactly how we're going to make this power hammer to work.
shape. And just like that, our bracing is done. So now I have to work out the pivot for this. So I've got our top pivot nutted out. I've still got to get my bolt in there, but it's going to work just fine. Still got to source my material for my ram, and I'll leave nutting out the engine and the uh, conrod mechanism till last. set scrounge fest for materials on this so I've just about run out of everything good and uh, I've got to make my pedal yet my treadle I've got to make my treadle when in doubt use rebar Ratios go. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hey, that's an awesome ratio. Alrighty, so the only bit left really is to connect that to that. Genuinely, the first test. I've just switched it on, but I haven't tried it yet, so let's see what happens. Might chuck these on. Is 
still a couple of things I want to do to it, but this is part of that process, trying it out, see how it works. I mean, I need to bolt it down. I've only got pavers on um, dirt floor here, so I have to put a concrete pad in here, bolt it down properly. But I might need to move it yet anyway, so we'll see how it goes today there. The other thing I want to do, and a couple of people have mentioned it, and I do have a plan, is have it so my anvil stays up when I'm not using it. So the way I'm going to do that, I'm not going to use this spring, but this is just an example. This is a pretty light spring. Obviously not strong enough for that repetitive work, but it holds, it holds it up. So the idea is I'm going to get myself an old um, trampoline spring and stick it in there, make a bracket so it's uh, connected properly, and that'll pick that up in the up position when I'm not using it. But right now it's, it's a working power hammer and um, I'm excited to see how it performs. I've never used a power hammer before so this is the first time. So I guess the next question is, can it forge well? Let's try that. Look at that. A nice coat of machine enamel green. I'm pretty happy the way it turned out. And you know, the total build cost on this thing was zero dollars. It's stuff that I had laying around or I got donated. So it cost me nothing, which I'm pretty stoked about.